Hey y'all, welcome back to the channel. It's Jessica at Pretty Prints and Paper, and I am giving my first impressions of the new Passion Planner Spring Launch. They sent me a couple things, and I just wanted to give you my reaction looking through them for the first time. I've unwrapped them from the plastic wrap, obviously, but wanted to give you some impressions of this new sticker book, these calendar date stickers, and their new passion journal. I'm so excited about this because obviously I'm a bullet journalist and I'm excited to see what is inside. So first let's look at this florals and foliage sticker book. It is one of a couple I know but I like the flexibility of florals. Jamie I know you're out there and I know you hate florals but forgive me. Um, going in. Oh Okay, so it is like a like a matte paper finish, but it's got thinner stickers than like a happy planner. I kind of like um, clear stickers a little bit more only because then you can overlap them without that ha that white border. But I'm noticing that each page is featuring a different artist, which is so cool. So that means everyone's going to have their own little flair to it. And each one supports a different cause. So you'll have to look up like what each of the different lines will support. But you can see the credit to the artist at the bottom. That is so freaking cool. Okay. Some repeats. So there's a difference between some functional uh, with floral pattern and then just straight up floral sticker. Coloring. That's kind of nice if you have a different color scheme that you want to go for and add some outline. Oh my gosh, some of these are so cute. Again, some of these are maybe outside of my style, but look how freaking cute. I like never know what to do with these. <laughs> Like, you just put them in the corner, and then what? Can you let me know in the comments? What do you do with those flags? <laughs> I need ideas. I have so many flags that I'm not using. Oh, pretty blue. These are just so cool. I wonder how long it took for them to do this, because I put together um, just a couple patterns for a sticker book, and that took time. So they must have been working on this for a while. Okay. Excellent. So it looks like there are 559 stickers on 30 pages, which is pretty comparable, I think, to like a Happy Planner sticker book. And then these calendar date stickers. I've never seen these before. So I got the black and the clear. They also have like a black on white. I was just curious as to what these even are. So on the back it says, page one, use these stickers to date your weekly pages. And then page two, to date the monthly pages. Okay, so let's see. Oh, good, they included the instructions on that other page. To date the weeklies. Okay, so these you just put on top of stuff. And so since I use weekly sticker kits, this is nice that it's clear because it'll just sit on top of whatever kit I might be using. And then, oh, and they included the weeks too. That's cool. And little icons. I'm not a big icon user. But I can see how every once in a while I might. But let's be honest, I'm probably not going to use these <laughs> as much. The weather is nice. Okay. All right. What I have been waiting for is this notebook. This is 212 numbered pages. This is the medium, which I got because I really like the size of my Passion Planner Pro. And that is the same exact size. I might regret this. I mean, because I usually bullet journal in an A5. So if I compare it to my A5 bullet journal, it's sized like this. So who knows uh, what that might mean for what I do in here. But it's got this beautiful cover, which is, you know, the similar cover as some of their other notebooks, their other planners. Ooh, a couple ideas. And here we go. I mean, it's the same as like using the dotted pages in the back of your passion planner, right? So it's not like it's 
something brand new, you've experienced that before, but I have to appreciate that they have page numbers at the bottom on the side. And, you know, it does take some training for the soft cover to stay open, but I do believe that the pages are meant to lay flat. So if you want to use any of those freaking bowl clips that people use all the time <laughs> to lay their journal down, that will be your opportunity. Um, okay, so obviously two of these signature ribbons for the bookmark and ooh, kind of a sexy teal ocean blue um, back pocket here. That's nice. Okay, I assume that the paper is similar to the Passion Planner paper, but let's just do a quick little pen test. When I do pen tests, I like to pull out a lot of variety of pens because I do like to be artsy in my bullet journals, so I always make sure I test things like my Tombow brush pens, some more juicy pens like this Uni pen, and then of course my uh, go-to markers and highlighters. Gel pens I'm not so worried about, but I do like to see the difference between something a little bit more thin, like a 0.38 or a 0.5, as well as the more thick ones like the Ink Joy Gel. A lot of times, of course, if they're a thicker point, then the more chances of it ghosting on the other side. Ghosting is when you can see some of the shadows of the ink from the other side, and sometimes that bothers people and sometimes it doesn't. It kind of bothers me. Uh, of course, I'm including some of these markers and highlighters to see if they show up on the other side. As I expected, not a lot of ghosting on the other side except for the uni pin, which I kind of expected. Okay, so that is what I've got. I'm excited to put these to use and see what I'm going to use this journal for show you it in action and I'll get back to you in a little bit here but I'm excited to see what other people are getting and what causes you're supporting. Do you think that you'll kind of upgrade the A5 size to this mid-size? I don't know. Let me know in the comments. What do you do with bigger notebooks like this? Well, I'll have to try and find another use. <laughs> Otherwise, if you haven't checked out my videos as to how I set up my passion planner, then you can check that out. Or, or if you are looking into bullet journaling and want to know what that's about, I have a couple videos on that. So if you are interested in hearing more, let me know down below. If you like this video, go ahead, thumbs up, subscribe, share, whatever. I just hope that you enjoy it. I'll see you in the next video. Bye!